Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how to get electric claw in Blocks Fruits. So, in this video, I will show you all how to get electric claw and the moveset of electric claw. These are the timestamps. But before we begin, I am really close to 50,000 subscribers. If you want to help me out, please like and subscribe. I am also going to do some giveaways when I reach 50,000 subscribers. Let's get straight into the video. How to get Electric Claw. The first thing you'll need to get Electric Claw is the Electric Fighting Style. You can get this in the first C. We're in the first C now. So to go get the Electric Fighting Style, we'll need to go to the Sky Islands. As you can see in the distance, there are some floating islands. That's in the direction of the jungle from the pirate starter village. So I'll go teleport there now. I am at the bottom of the Sky Islands right over here. So we'll need to go find the mad scientist, which is right behind this rock over here. You can buy electric from him for 500,000 belly. Once you have the electric fighting style, you can go get it to 400 mastery because that is the next requirement for electric claw. After that, we can go head to the floating turtle island in the third sea. I'm at the castle on the sea and from here, turtle island is that way. And you can also take a portal to get there. You can go through a portal if you have killed the rip injure raid boss. So I am now in floating turtle island at the mansion. We will need to find the previous hero. Follow this path starting from mansion. So you go out the frame here, turn right, and then at the crossroads you just turn left, and then you turn right again. Now just go around these pillars, and the previous hero is right here. The next step is to talk to him and do his quest. His quest requires you to get back to the mansion in under 30 seconds. A quick tip is that you can actually set your spawn point at mansion and press the home button right over here to get there really fast. Now if you go back to mansion by using the home button and the quest doesn't say completed, just quickly run out here into this open arch and then it should definitely say completed by then. After that, return back to the previous hero. All right, I'm back at the previous hero. So, after you've done his quest, he will allow you to buy Electric Claw. You can pay him three million belly and 5,000 fragments in order to get the Electric Claw fighting style. Now onto the move set. Let's start off with the clicks. So the clicks on every single click move you forward. They are really fast though, which is very handy, especially for something like a Buddha user. The Z move is Electric Rampage. It requires 110 mastery to unlock. The longer you hold the Z key, the more it slashes and stuns the opponent. It also goes further the longer you hold it down. This is me just tapping it. As you can see, it didn't go very far. And this is me holding it down. As you can see, it stuns the enemy and it goes further. This move does not break observation. The X move is Lightning Thrust. It requires 210 mastery to unlock. When you press the X key, it launches you forward and drags along anyone in your path before exploding and damaging the enemies you have dragged along with you. This is an example of just pressing it. It launches them pretty far as well, which is interesting. You can also hold it to go double the distance as just pressing the X key. The maximum holding length is indicated by a little noise and a flash around your body. Like that. Then you can do it and it goes much further. This move can also be dodged by observation. The C move is Thunderclap and Flash. It requires 330 mastery to unlock. When you press the C key, you dash forward really quickly, dragging anyone who gets in your path before slamming down and damaging the enemies you grab before launching them up a little bit. This move is the only move that breaks observation in the kit. Here is an example of the C move. So I can put my mouse past them 
and it takes them along with me and launches them up in the air. You can also mist them a little bit as it has a decently big area of effect. It also makes you go really far down when used in the air. So I'm at the top of this giant castle or tower or whatever you want to call it and I will be using the C key and it made me go down half of the distance of the tower. That is really far. That's basically the length of this tree right here, one of the giant trees. So if you ever want to get down to the ground fast, you just use the C key. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you all next time.